Hi, today we will discuss about manage inventory batch wise. Maintaining stock items in batches will help in ensuring old stock is moving out fast. Whether it is a perishable item or items launched recently, batches help you keep track of items and also identify which batch they belong to. You can configure your stock item master to allocate items to one or more batches. For better tracking, you can also provide the manufacturing or expiry date depending on the type of stock your business has. While making a purchase entry, you can directly allocate the stock item into one or more batches depending on your business situation. To enable batches in Teleprime for your stock items, you need to press F11 from the gateway of Tally, then set the option Enable Batches to Yes. If you do not see the option, set Show More Configurations to Yes. If you are dealing with perishable goods, you can enable the option Maintain Expiry Dates for Batches in the Features option. Configure Stock Items for Allocating Batches. Press Alt plus G from the Gateway of Tally. Then select Create Master. Then select Stock Item and press Enter. Select Primary or an existing stock group in the under field. Ensure that the unit of measurement is selected for the stock item. In the Stock Item Creation screen, Press F12, then select Maintain Stock Item in Batches to Yes. If you need to use this option only for the current master, press Ctrl plus I. Then select Maintain in Batches and press Enter. In the Batches Setup screen, select the appropriate unit and set Maintain in Batches to Yes. You can enable options in the stock item screen for using batches either while creating a new stock item or altering an existing stock item. Track date of manufacturing to yes. This is required if you are dealing with the perishable goods or stock items with limited shelf life. Use expiry dates to yes. This is mostly required for perishable goods. When you configure the stock item for allocating batches before saving the batch, enter batch number, manufacturing date and expiry date. Accept the screen. As always, you can press Ctrl plus A to save. Sell stock items from batches or lots. If you have stored your stock items in batches or lots, it is convenient to choose stock items based on your sales policy whether you have segregated the stock items based on their manufacturing and expiry dates or based on different rates for a stock item when passing a sales entry you can choose to sell items from the batch as you need in the stock item screen specify other details as you need and press enter in the stock item allocation screen Specify a batch name. You can keep it unique to avoid any confusion with other batches. In the stock item allocation screen, select the active batches or create new number. Specify the quantity, rate and amount field. Complete the transaction by entering other details and accept the voucher. As always, you can use Ctrl plus A to save. Batch Summary Batch Summary is a summary of all the batches of a particular stock item for the given period. You can select the required batch and further drill down to view the batch monthly summary and then further 
drill down to view the batch monthly summary and then further to batch voucher report of the selected batch of an item. The batch summary will be available when maintained batches will be enabled in the features option. To view batch summary, you need to go to gateway of tally, select display more reports, select inventory books, then select batch. Select the required name of item and select the name of batch from the list of batches. The batch voucher report is shown in the screen. Press F8. The batch summary of the selected item will appear. Select the required batch and press enter to view the item batch monthly summary as shown in the screen. Drill down further to view the batch vouchers report. Please note the batch summary displays the report of the month on which the last transaction entry was passed for the selected item. Press F2 to change the period. Configure batch summary. To configure it, you need to press F12 in batch summary report. Show quantity. Set this option to yes to view the report with quantity for all transactions. Show rate. Set this option to yes to view the report with rate for all transactions. Show value. Set this option to yes to view the report with value for all transactions. Show opening balance. Set this option to yes to display opening balance in the report. Show goods inwards. Set this option to yes to display all inward details like inward quantities, inward rate and inward value. Show goods outwards. Set this option to yes to display all outward details like outward quantities, outward rate and outward value. Show gross value for outwards. Gross value of outwards refers to that value which is inclusive of the values of VAT or any other allowed ledger under accounting allocation screen of the stock item. By default, this option will be set to no. When it is set to yes, it will display the gross value of the outwards. Show consumption and gross profits. By default, this option will be set to no. Press F7 in the button bar or enabling this option in F12 that is configuration will display gross profit or loss of batch selected. Show gross profit on gross value. By default, this option will be set to no. When this option is set to yes, the gross profit will be calculated on the gross value which is inclusive of the values of VAT or any other allowed ledger under accounting allocation screen of the stock item. Show closing balance. Set this option to yes to display closing quantity, rate and value. Show manufacturing date. By default, this option is set to no. Set this option to yes to view the manufacturing date of the batch of a selected stock item. Show expiry date of batches. By default, this option is set to no. Set this option to yes to view the expiry date of the batch of a selected stock item. Show number of days for expiry. By default, this option is set to no. Set this option to yes to view the number of days to expire against each batch for a selected stock item. Show stock items with zero quantity or balance. By default, this option is set to no. Set this option to yes to view only the expired batches. Format of report. 
it display the report in condensed or detailed mode show base currency display the values of the report along with the corresponding base currency symbol sorting method this will help the user to sort the report based on the sorting methods listed namely alphabetical amount wise expiry date manufactured date quantity wise and rate wise all in increasing and decreasing batch vouchers batch vouchers provides a list of all vouchers for a stock item of the same batch for a specific period the report comprises of both inwards and outwards transactions along with quantity rate and closing value details for the selected batch the batch vouchers report is available when the option maintain batches is enabled in the features option to view batch vouchers report you need to go to the gateway of tally select display more reports select inventory books then select batch select the required name of the item and select the batch from the list of batches the batch vouchers report appears as shown in the screen thanks for watching please do comment what you want to see in my next topic please share my videos with your nearest one and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the regular updates you can click on the info card to watch my previous videos or you can click on the playlist from info card to know elaborately